Well, this is a wariel. It's an area about 140 kilometers north of the capital, Juba. And this is the place where tens of thousands of people have come to as being the safest place um, near to the fighting that's been going on uh, in Bor, which is just across the Nile from where we are. Just behind me, um, the reeds behind there, behind these trees, uh, is the Nile. Uh, it's a, a trip by boat to get over there, and that's the trip that these people have made. They basically were in this town when the fighting started, and they just grabbed wherever they could and came out here, and that meant very little. So they've arrived here. Uh, 75,000 plus people have come here. It's hard to count because there are so many. They're spread out under the trees. These people here behind me, they're all queuing for for aid. There's food aid that's been brought in for them. Uh, there's also um, a clinic here as well, but only small amounts. Uh, really, the international community has just realised over the last few days how serious the situation here is and how certain it is that they have to get supplies in. Now, David Nash, who's been standing here from, from MSF, uh, you came here a few days ago. Um, tell me what the situation is like on the ground. How bad are the conditions with people? Well, the conditions uh, in terms of uh, water, clean drinking water, is, is desperate now because the Nile behind us is the only source of water. It's water that people are washing in uh, and there are no latrines around here, so there's open defecation. So this is a serious condition. Uh, also shelter. There's almost no shelter. People are just living under the trees. We've set up uh, a clinic behind us now. Uh, and we're treating uh, people there, obviously. We're already seeing acute watery diarrhoea, uh, so the next thing we're doing is laying on clean drinking water. Mm. And the UN have been here, they've done an assessment, they've seen the, the huge need. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the, the trucks to come up that awful road. Yes, we, we need more assistance. The people here need more assistance as soon as it can get here. And more people are coming? At the moment, there's fighting going on in Bor the last few days, uh, and the number of people coming has slowed. Talking to the population here, uh, I'm told that the reason it's slowed up is not because more people don't want to come, but they are having difficulty accessing the boats. The boats are the only way people can get here. All right, David Nash, so thanks very much indeed. Uh, so basically, uh, another night here, just uh, the sun's setting uh, as people are trying to work out where they can sleep, trying to get some food and trying to get some clean water wherever they can because otherwise the conditions are going to be very bad. We've had a wander around here. It covers a vast area. It's not like a camp with uh, a fence around it where people are, are being given things. This is people who've just rushed over the river with nothing and are setting themselves down wherever they can to try and get shelter, to try and get the aid that's coming for them.